Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a SRAM road crank set with a BB30 spindle and switch it with a mountain bike spindle. So some of you may be thinking, why even do this? Okay, um, And the reason why that uh, I think this is an amazing uh, modification you can do is because you can really make a crank set fit any bike out there. So. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have one of these uh, SRAM crank sets that are the, I think they're S900 is what they're called, also the Force 22, uh, and any SRAM crank that has a removable spider uh, as well, you can do this, and it has to be the BB30 or PressFit 30 spindle. You cannot do this with a GXP spindle, so it has to be the BB30 spindle. So what you can do, uh, another thing too is if you're wanting to put this on a mountain bike or a fat bike, you have to have the road version. The reason why I say that is because if you look at the mountain bike version uh, crank arm here, you can see the bend. And it, what it does is it throws your Q factor out way too wide. Uh, so essentially this with the road, you can see how straight it is compared to the mountain bike spindle. So if you're going to want to use this, like I said, on a mountain bike or a fat bike or some other bike, uh, go with the straight road spindle and what's beautiful about this as well uh, is you can run like these these are 170 millimeter cranks uh, let's say you want to run a 172.5 on the on the mountain bike or you know 167.5 or 165s or, or whatever it may be you can actually get the SRAM road crank set that is that uh, dimension or that length and then you can obviously modify it so uh, so what you're going to want, you're going to want, of course, a vise here. This is what you're going to use uh, to be able to punch the spindle out. You can see the spindle here. This is a race face spindle. All right, so race face spindle here. This is the 134. So that's 134 millimeters wide. And there's several other spindles out there. This is the one that actually came off the mountain bike. And you can see it's, it's a lot shorter. So now race face really does the same thing. They have the, their crank arms are very straight. They just basically determine their Q factor uh, based on how the width of the spindle. So this one's 134. Uh, Easton, which is the same company as Race Face, they run a 129 on the Easton crank set. So you know it brings it down about five millimeter. So you can run depending on your frame. You can go on eBay or any, anywhere else and find a spindle that is the correct length for you. So uh, that's what, like I said, the versatility of this is amazing. So. As you can see here, the way you get started, uh, you look on the non-drive side crank arm, this is where the spindle is actually attached. Uh, and if you look there, you'll see where it says, do not remove. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna ignore the do not remove. So, or, or uh, 10 millimeter Allen key size. And what you're gonna do is, is basically break this loose. Now, it's gonna be tough. This one, I pre kind of broke it loose, I guess you would say. Uh, but it's going to be hard to do. Uh, one trick I found was actually while it's still on the bike, putting this in there and then pushing it down with my foot to be able to break it loose because there's some Loctite on there. So as you can see here, uh, this here, if we pull it all the way out, that it's just a bolt that, that you know tightens that spindle into there. Okay. So we're going to actually use this as a removable tool. All right. And what you want to do is screw it in and screw it in where there's just a little bit showing right through there, okay? So you're gonna screw it in where just a little bit is showing uh, right through there. You can kind of see um, what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a rubber mallet and actually punch this out and break it loose. Like I said, this is not recommended by SRAM or a lot of people, but uh, if you wanna switch your spindle out, uh, this is how you do it, okay? Now, you take your vise, and what you're gonna do is your vise, you're gonna uh, basically make this the same width. I'm going to turn this sideways so you can kind of see, but you want to make it where the vise is, is just on that metal part there and the spindle is free to, uh, to, to fall out. You know say. So you tighten it down to the spindle, all right, and you get a little bit there and then you just loosen it a hair, okay? Now obviously you're going to have yours mounted down on your workbench. I just had this like this for uh, video purposes. Now, if you are, you know, OCD about any kind of scuffs or anything on your your stuff, it will actually make a little bit of a mark here and there from where you have to hit. So, 
Uh, if you want to, you can you can get one of these and you can get a rubber cover for this, so that way you, you keep from scuffing this up. Me, I, I do a lot of mountain biking and stuff like that. I'm not too worried about it, as you can tell from my workbench. So, all right. So what we do is, uh, once again, just have this where it's just a hair loose, where the spindle can fall through. And then let me get my rubber mallet. Went and got my mallet. Elena was supposed to wash it, but she didn't do too well, did she? <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little chalk on my uh, crank set here. So. All right, and as a heads up, don't do this at night. If you have kids and they're asleep, your wife will not be happy, all right? Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna take our mallet here, and then we're just gonna basically punch it out, okay? And it's gonna take some force, so you definitely wanna hit it pretty hard, okay? So it's gonna take some force. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna break anything. It's just gonna, this is just rubber here, so. All right, all right, and what that did, it basically broke the spindle free, so you can see it moving around there. All right, and now what you do is you take your 10 millimeter Allen key, screw this out, and then your spindle's off. Okay, now that we have the uh, spindle removed, we can actually move the vise out of the way. We no longer need that, so uh, you can see the spindle uh, links here between the different type of crank sets. This one came off of a SRAM mountain bike. This one came off of a SRAM, you know, obviously the road uh, crank set there. And this is your race face 134 millimeter spindle here. So what we're going to do is, and, and like I said before, if you put this on here, you can see how wide your Q factor is going to be. So it's going to be uh, pretty wide there. Interesting thing about this is if you look at the weight, so your race face, which is the uh, SL version here, uh, it's going to weigh about 81 grams. And if you take the SRAM spindle, which is shorter, uh, it's actually 90 grams. So uh, 90 grams, 89, 90 grams for the shorter spindle. And that's because they haven't hollowed out some of this, and it probably just has a little bit more material in it. Okay, now that we have the uh, regular road spindle off, we are going to take the race face spindle here and install it on the non-side drive side crank arm. <laughs> Look at that. Sorry guys, I didn't realize that. I have a bone sitting on my workbench. Uh, that's from my kids. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so uh, you're going to take this uh, and you can see the uh, spline here will fit into here. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, you know, as far as uh, the splines, you know, you can put it pretty much on any of them. Um, so you put it in there and then you take your bolt here and you just tighten it down. Now be sure you tighten it down very tight, okay? Uh, now some people will add some Loctite to this, so if you want to, you can add some Loctite. I'm not really gonna add any Loctite. I'm not, I don't plan on uh, you know, keeping this on here forever, so, uh, so I'm not gonna put any like Loctite on mine. So like I said before, just, just tighten this down real tight, uh, and then you'll be good to go. I have not had any issues. I've been doing this for years, so. Um, all right, so it's tightened down real tight, and it's ready to go. So uh, now what you'll do is you'll put it into your frame. You use any kind of spacers, BB30 spacers, uh, like you know, like this one, so to speak, and you can you can space it out. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, you know a, a GXPN being too small and trying to get it too wide enough and all that stuff. Uh, so that works. Another thing too, just as a heads up, this spline right here is just like the spline on the SRAM dub crank sets, the newer SRAM dub crank sets. So uh, this right here will actually fit inside of a dub drive side crank arm. So the crank arms on the drive side for the dub is the same. So uh, the dub, what they did, if you do not know, it's basically this spindle is now 28.99 millimeter. Anyways, uh, <laughs> everybody's kind of frustrated by that. But um, so these are 30 millimeter. But the spline here, they did not change the size of that. Okay, so you can take a dub crank set and or non-drive side crank arm and use it on a BB30 drive side crank arm. So just a little bit of information there for you to know. Let's go ahead and weigh this one, see what it weighs, and you can kind of compare it to other other brands. So say 430 grams on the dot. Obviously, this is not as light as you know race faces stuff, but 
still fairly light for you know a cheap cranks that usually you can find these on on eBay uh, slightly used for around a hundred bucks or so okay so I got it installed on my mountain bike and uh, just beat the uh, the dark here the sun's going down but uh, you can see so it uh, it fits perfectly on the mountain bike I uh, just run like a 30 millimeter spindle uh, or a 30 millimeter bottom bracket in there and uh, has plenty of clearance right here so you can see the clearance there and your chain line has a great chain line there you really can fine tune it uh, with this setup too so like I said this is the, uh, the 110 BCD uh, obviously you probably want to use 104 BCD if you're going to run it on a mountain bike like I'm doing I'm just kind of rigging it up right now so you can see on the left hand side here so you can see it has plenty of clearance there so um, you probably could with mine this is not a boost frame uh, this is just a 142 by 12 with this frame I probably could go a little narrow on my spindle you see I have a spacer here so you have the spacer there uh, to make it kind of fit but yeah so with this it's uh, pretty amazing it's versatile uh, you can run different crank arm links with uh, with your mountain bike. You could actually run like a cork 110 BCD power meter on this if you wanted to. Uh, the options really are endless on this. So, all right, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button below. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy this content so I can bring you more content in the future and hit the little bell if you want to be notified in the future. Thank you again for watching.